For level one of the Ninja Warrior Challenge, the Newcomer Ninja, all you have to do is do two of each exercise. Like a game of bingo, try to get either a line across, a line diagonal, or a line down to win the game. Or you can go for a total blackout. Just in case you're not sure on how to do the exercises, I'm going to show you really, really quickly just how to do each one of them. For the squat, what you need to do is have your feet about shoulder width apart. You're going to put your hands out in front of you for balance and you're just going to sit back as if you were sitting on a chair and then you're going to come up and that's one. For the lunges, what's really, really important is we have to do both legs. Okay, so I will go forward on my left leg and come back. Then I'll go forward on my right leg and come back. And that's one done. For the windmill exercise, you're going to start with your legs together. When your legs go apart, you're going to touch your hand to your opposite foot, come back together and touch again to the opposite. That's one, when you go from the right and to the left, okay? When we do the jumping jacks, you're going to jump out and then jump back in together, and that's one. When you do the jump tuck, you're going to try and jump as high as you can and bring your knees as close to your body as possible. For the push-up, you can either go on your toes or on your knees. Just pop your hands out in front, lower your body to the ground, and push yourself back up, and that's one. For the sit-ups, you're going to place your feet on the ground, you're going to put your hands on your chest, you're going to lower your body down to the ground, and then you're going to pull yourself back up. Do you accept the Ninja Warrior Challenge? Try to make it to as many levels as you can. When you're finished, don't forget to send me pictures or videos to either my email or put them up on Microsoft Teams. The students who do, it'll go towards their badges and points on LMS towards their PE work.